We've caught so many fish today. It's probably it's probably the most fish I've caught in one day in a very, very, very long time. I mean, we're probably close to 100 fish on the day between all of us. So. I made it, I mean, last night we drove like probably 30 to 45 minutes on dirt roads to get to the parking place for this thing, to access this and talk about like being in the middle of nowhere. But I'm excited. Welcome back. So it's the next morning. We have started our hike down. We probably hiked like three miles or something right now, four miles. We're at a river crossing. Um, they're over there somewhere. But I'm with uh, Dylan, who's been in, I think, every Georgia video up to this point. Um, and Andrew, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and cross this creek or river. This is actually the river we're fishing, but we're hiking down river, and then we're going to fish up the entire day. But it looks outstanding. So hope you guys are going to enjoy this, this video. I think it's going to be a good one. Mm -hmm. a rock outcrop that's cool there's a trail down there too it looks like onwards popping off. Look at this, just look down the river. <laughs> this is crazy. It's gonna be a good day of fishing, man. It's gonna be a good day. All right, guys, so we made it to where we're gonna stop. We've hiked another probably two to three miles since we last saw you, or since I last talked to you. Um, we're gonna start at this hole because look how good that looks. This water is like crystal clear water, blue. I have tied on a dry dropper. So I'm gonna be throwing dry dropper because we saw a little yellow Sally hatch. And Andrew's gonna be throwing streamers because there could be some decent browns in here and we wanna see if we can move a couple. And then Dylan is going to be throwing, is gonna be uranipping. So he can like dredge the bottom for some of the possible bigger fish that are towards the bottom. So. That's our plan, that's how we're gonna attack it off the rip. Um, whatever works best, we'll kinda all switch to whatever that may be. But, yeah, let's start fishing. Look how pretty he is. Wow, guys, so this is my first fish of the day. Wasn't even recording. Look at that. Did they get any prettier? And look at the pool I caught it out of. Woo! Yeah. It's so pretty though, look at that. Pretty pink stripe. Bye buddy. First cast. In this hole. Not first cast ever, first cast in the hole.
It's another good one too. Yeah. These fish are probably some of the prettiest rainbows I've ever seen. Just look at these fish, this fish. Chill out, buddy. Look at that, guys. Some of easily the prettiest rainbows I've ever seen. I mean, they're just like iridescent. That's crazy. Bye, buddy. I was out of this hole. Dylan just, I caught one there. Dylan threw in, caught one. And then I just caught one right here. So I think there's still more fish to be caught in this hole too. And Dylan just caught another one. That's the fourth one, fourth fish out of this hole. What did that one eat? That little yellow Sally. The yellow Sally imitation. They're so pretty. They're like iridescent. That's cool. That's four out of this hole yeah, now. It's, uh, yellow, it's, that's CDC. It's oh, okay. yellow sound like a merger-ish type of something. So even if this thing like hangs up and floats a little bit, they should still come up and eat it. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if they care. Because oh, mine's, okay. mine's, got a, mine's a, got a red hot spot. It's a hairsy with a red hot spot. Top of that. There's something up there that needs to be I casted out. once and caught one. So I'm sure you catch one in there. Or another one. Oh yeah, baby. Rainbow. I got one and then Andrew also has one. So that's a double up. See him in the background with his fish. And actually Dylan just released one. So that's actually like technically a triple up. This creek's, I mean, if this, I don't know if this is normal for this creek. I just realized. Never mind. I don't know if this like, the fishing being this good is normal for this creek or if we're just hitting it on a good day, but this is insane. And we've legit probably caught like 20 fish. I mean, I have, I caught like two, I think that weren't on film. So yeah, I mean, heck yeah. Ooh, nice one. Ooh, baby. Take the net out for this one. I literally just lost one and then turned around and I caught this one. Like literally back to back casts. It's a slightly better size one. Yeah, that's a decent one right there, boys. Couldn't let him go. All right, guys, so that first fish I caught was on this, was like right here in front of me. And basically, there's two good places for a fish to sit. The second one being that far side. So, and I just caught another one out of that far side. <laughs> that's three out of this hole. Three out of this hole. And there's number three. Not a giant, but. That was the third one right there. Really? Right here, without moving. Caught one right in front of me and two on that far side. <laughs> this is insane, dude. That's almost back-to-back -back cast. This is a little bit bigger, bigger. Not quite the size of the second or third one. I think the second one I caught. Man, they're pretty though. 
Look at that. I mean, the red stripes on these guys. In this clear water. White tip fins. And away we go. That was four. That was three on that one side alone. I don't know if I spooked these closer to me, and that's why I'm not, I didn't. Or if that side's just better. Keep moving up though. That's for sure. Another one. Five that is out of here. This one's real small. He gone. Oh, six. Oh, lost him. That was that was right there, guys. The mistake I made. Not that it matters, but just as like a learning point, I didn't have line control. And because I didn't have my line control, I didn't catch that fish. Not a bad one right there, guys. <laughs> I can probably grab it. Here you go. And then, buddy. I mean, this is like some of the best fishing. I mean, it's every hole we're catching multiple. That one looks great. Yeah, it does. And then another male, looks like. I mean, these fish just look unreal. I mean, it's just of every like pocket too, there's like multiple. You can catch two and three. You got one? I mean, it's just. Top of that white water, it's so hard to see. Put it back on the water, give it a good release. Benito Yellow Sally. Is it your hook? That's already out. Oh, yeah. We're about part way through the day. Um, I don't exactly know what time it is, but I guess it's around noon. So we fished for eh, two, two and a half, two and a half hours probably. Probably coming up on three if I was just guessing. I don't have my watch unfortunately, so I can't tell. But um, I've been surprised by this creek. First of all, it's absolutely loaded with trout. I mean, just about every pocket you come to, there's a trout in it, or two or three trout in it. Um, second of all, there's actually been some decent ones. We've caught a few that are like, you know, 10 to 12 inches, which is, you know, um, I, I don't really know what I expected, but it's just nice to, you know, catch some decent fish every now and again between, you know, there's the little dinks. Um, we caught like a crap ton about when we started and it slowed down a little bit, but Dylan said he just lost like something of size. So that's cool. We're going to keep fishing. I just came up to this hole right there. I don't know if you guys can see very well but it's so pretty and I fished it a little bit, but it's just deep and my dry dropper just is not the correct thing to use. So I'm just chilling on this rock, waiting on Dylan and Andrew. They're literally just, I'm looking at them right now. They're in the hole just below this, um, retying or doing something, I don't even know. But just thought I'd take this time to update you guys and let you know that this has been a heck of a day of fishing. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself.
There it is. Woo, took a break and filmed for a second, guys. Watched Andrew and them catch a few fish. First cast back for my mini break. Caught one. Can you please let me hold you? Thanks, buddy. By the way, guys, these are barbless snaps just because they're catching a bunch of fish. They're not huge. And it's better for them. Bye, buddy. See if I can catch another one out here. It's a good way to start right there. Biggest one of the day. Let's go. <sighs> All right, so I wasn't recording because I literally just cast it in here and got my line all wrapped around my rod tip. But I literally cast it on the right side of the hole, which is like the shallow section of the hole isn't even a good part. It's just a, just a decent run, basically, is all it is. And about the biggest fish of the day. Beautiful. You about just jumped out of the water. Beautiful rainbow. He doesn't have very many spots low, but you can see this section of mature fish. He doesn't have the par markings. Rosy cheek. And just an absolute yeah. specimen of a fish. So, nice. we'll go ahead and get this guy released. Um, just had to show it off because that's probably the fish of the day so far. Hopefully, we'll catch one bigger, but I'm happy with that. It's a halfway decent one. Why is he so difficult to get in? There's fish here, boys. There you go, guys. Another iridescent, beautiful North Georgia wild rainbow. Thanks, buddy. go guys another gorgeous rainbow all right guys so my gopro died just to caught that fish but what i was going to say is that like this is getting rougher and rougher as you can see like that's just a rock out crop um there's no trail the trail is long gone now so this is kind of a trail blazing the creek is beautiful but man this is tough i mean i've already rock climbed once i almost turned on the gopro to show you guys that i was rock climbing but um i didn't yeah, this is what we have to deal with. We literally come up into this stuff and then you kind of just look around and try to find a spot that you can kind of sort of walk in. And hope you don't fall or step on a snake. I have seen a snake today as well. Fun stuff though, it's boring. It doesn't get much better. <laughs> This hole was literally made for me. Like, I mean, made for dry dropper. one and then caught one. Oh, come here, buddy. Chill, 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 chill. I just want to show you off quickly. Here you go, guys. Another perfect rainbow trout. Perfect. See you, buddy. Oh, 
little guy. We're about average, I'd say, for where we're fishing. Oh my gosh, this guy. Crazy nights, figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met, you never get to know. I kinda miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant. for you guys we've been fishing for ages now it's probably like 6 30 ish uh, we're gonna have to start heading out uh, honestly the past like two hours Andrew and I were just talking like we haven't even recorded we're just we've caught so many fish today it's probably it's probably the most fish I've caught in one day in a very 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 long time I mean we're probably close to 100 fish on the day between all of us so um, yeah just an outstanding day of fishing but what we're gonna do is we're gonna start hiking out of here we're still gonna fish some hit some holes but it's not gonna be nearly as serious. And hopefully we make it out without dying because we probably have like, still probably have two or three miles to get out of here. And then, yeah, and it's all uphill because we're down in this enormous gorge. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. And don't forget to subscribe or whatever. Like a small fish in a big pond. Think I'll go back where I came from. Everybody knows my name. All my friends are still the same I guess the slow life If you just ride like a bonfire On a cool night Yeah, you can keep your nine to five Cause I'm happy with the simple life Jeez, man Why is he pulling the hardest he's ever pulled in his life? Yeah? I wasn't even the dry fly eater. No, guys. That's. Chill out, buddy. There we go. Another absolutely unbelievable rainbow. Hell, you can keep your 95. Cause I'm a happy with the simple life.